Hello and welcome back to this let's play of or blind let's play of Pokemon Crystal. I am a biting gamer and last episode we found our way to Olivine City where we are right now. Uh, we also visited something called the Battle Tower that did not work out very well for us and I'm still confused what that entire thing is. Once again any comments explaining to me what the ba Battle Tower actually is and if I have to go there then enlighten me. And in this episode, we were planning to get to the lighthouse because we heard that some kind of gym leader, um, the Steely Jasmine or whatever, she was apparently in a lighthouse. And we did see a lighthouse in at the beginning of last episode, so we're planning to go here right now. Dark roads are dangerous at night, but in the pitch black of night, the sea is even more tre treacherous. Without the beacon of the lighthouse to guide it, no ship can sail. Okay. I'm guessing we just have to enter. Uh, but first of all, yeah. Um, unfortunately, my emulator actually crashed uh, after doing the last episode at the Battle Tower. So I wasn't able to save, but of course we saved when it changed the Pokebox at the Battle Tower, but that means I didn't get to withdraw my Pokemon. So let's do that. Where is... Chiquitita Penser, yeah, because you know how to cut and how to use strength. Nope, not Electrode, what? Nope, nope. Well, why not, actually? It's not like we need Kenya. This is fine. We got Sea, sea Queen, we got Radicate, and we got Chiquitita. That's all we need. Excuse me for one moment. <coughs> I'm sorry about that, but I had something stuck in my throat that was not nice at all. I was also thinking, maybe we can check out what our mom has been buying for us here. Let's see. Ooh, a moonstone! Mom! Thank you! Repel and Super Potion, on the other hand? No, thank you. I don't think we have any Pokémon right now that can evolve with a moonstone. I'm gonna double check in my Pokémon inventory. No, of course not. So, we're just gonna ignore that for now. No point in stressing that any further. Uh, but we're just gonna go ahead... Ooh, what's this? Okay, we're not gonna go here. Let's read a sign first, maybe. That's always a good idea. Olivine Port Fast Ship Pier. Okay, I have no idea what that is. But let's go to the lighthouse first, because that's I think that's where we're supposed to go right now. People have been talking about it, so... Hello! In the past, Pokémon used to light the sea around Olivine at night. The lighthouse was made in the honor of those Pokémon. So we have a... Uh... <laughs> you shallow douchebag. Oh, I thought it was a trainer. People train at this lighthouse. It's not easy to climb because of all the trainers. Okay, so it... I was hoping, kind of, that this would be like... A small, easy side quest, but no, of course, it has to be... Okay, we can't fall down these places. Okay, good to know. <laughs> Whoops. At least there's no wild Pokemon here. That's nice. Well, hopefully, since it's a lighthouse, there'll be mostly be grass type. No, I mean water type trainers. Hello, you are smelling like a trainer. Hmm, this is no place for playing. And then all of a sudden, you drag out your Pokemon to beat me up? I don't get you, gentlemen. Alfred! Batman's waiter, no. But, but butler. Oh, he has a Noctowl. <laughs> Cute. Well, no matter. We have a Chiquitita that can body slam your Noctowl. Boom. Give me a lot of money. You're a rich gentleman. Ah, oh, I can see that you're serious. Indeed. Up top is a Pokemon that keeps the lighthouse lit, but I hear that it's sick now and can't be cured by ordinary medicine. We'll go buy us some medicine then from non-ordinary sources, you old man. Men of the sea are always spoiling for a good fight. And you just found one, buddy. Sailor Huey wants to battle and he sends out a Polyvag. I guess it has a Polyvag and a Polyrath or something then. They seem to be pretty low leveled. Weren't like the Team Rocket members that we crushed back in Mahogany Town higher level than this? 
So that makes me still wonder if I'm actually here much later than I am supposed to be here. Like, maybe I should have gone left to Olivine City first and then back to Mahogany Town from Eucritic City. That's a, that's a possibility. And if so, then sorry, I had no idea. Good thing that there weren't any major difficulties going to Mahogany first. Yeah, maybe. Who knows? Since we got served so early, maybe it was like supposed to, like we were supposed to go here and try to surf or something. I don't know. Weird. Which would also explain why we got. Whoops! 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 Why we got the seventh hook badge <laughs> after the fourth and we just skipped two people. I'm still not sure who number five is though, because right now we're, we're in the city of either number six or number eight. So. Why are you here? Are you just going to gawk? I suggest that you leave. Boy, I will kick you out of the window of the tallest place in the lighthouse. Oh god, yes, five Pokemon. If you were not named Theo, then I would hate you. I like that name. You just got a bunch of pig Pidgeys? Maybe some of my lower level Pokemon can train here. I think that's a good idea. Oh, we got an Electrode with us. Maybe we should use Electrode. He's strong against flying types. Why not? Just having a randomly... random Thunder Pokémon trained. Let's see here, Electrode. I choose you. Never used an Electrode before. Maybe I should. Electrode! Well, you don't... well, Sonic Boom, that's not a... or like, that's not a electricity type. It's like a normal type, right? So... Why don't you know, like, Thunder Shock or anything? Idiot. Sonic Boom! Just reminds me of Street Fighter. Uh, that means I want to change Pokemon again, because this takes too long. No, whoops! No, I want a Chikitita. I didn't want... No, I'm not going to use a Water-type Pokemon versus a Flying-type Pokemon. Wait, is that even... Maybe that doesn't really do anything. Oh, whatever, let's just supersonic it first to make sure. Thank you! Good job! Now try Horn Attack, maybe? I don't know, actually. I'm kind of confused right now. Oh, okay, that was pretty effective. And Tackle, okay, that's not a peck at least. But maybe Flying type Pokemon isn't good against. Um, against water type Pokemon. I don't really know where why I thought that. Maybe that's totally wrong. So whatever, we're just gonna c continue using Sea Queen. She needs some experience points because I'm uh, for once I'm actually totally sure I'm gonna use this Pokemon. I love Supersonic so much. Hurt yourself? No. Okay, it's fine. I'm not sure, like, what chance it is that horror confusion will actually work. Like, is it, like, 50% that 50% of the time it will hurt itself, or... I don't know. <laughs> Come on, it's probably a Pidgeotto. No, it's a Pidgey again, okay. But we can do this. Come on, Sea Queen, I believe in you. I said I believe in you. Oh! She listened to me. Sea Queen, my girl! Oh, that was so cool. You really are concerned? What? About what? I'm not concerned. How the heck do you get up? I want to visit the sick Pokemon, but I can't get up there. Okay, I'm gonna guess just by having played a lot of video games that you have to fall down one of these holes and then find another staircase or something, like something stupid like that. That's not really stupid, it's kind of clever, but whatever. I travel the world to train my Pokémon. I wish to battle with you. Is this the same guy from SSN? Does he have a Growlithe and a... Or two Growliths or whatever it was? You know, remember? Maybe? Gentleman Prison- Ah! He said the same thing as the guy on SSN! I'm a Psychic! 
Come on, I, I know I say I'm a psychic every single episode now, but you gotta admit, my track record is starting to get pretty good when it comes to guessing the Pokémon that enemies will, or enemy trainers will use here. But that's so cool though that he actually turns up again and is like, hey... <laughs> yeah, it is him! Cool. Come on, Sea Queen, you can take down, take down a Growlithe even though you're love or love on health, I think. Love on health. <laughs> I don't really know if Sea Queen has been featured or Sea King has been featured in the animes so far, so I don't really know what their growl is supposed to sound like. Is it like Sea King? Or is it Sea King? Like Goldine, you know? Sea King, Sea King, Goldine, Goldine, Goldine. Hi, Miss Trains of More. Are you gonna berate me for not being nice to your friends? Jasmine used to reuse rock Pokemon like Onyx. Okay, but she doesn't anymore. Explain yourself, old man. We're gonna switch out Chiquitita and uh, Sea Queen. We're also gonna cure up uh, Sea Queen here with some. Do we only have a hyper potion? No, we have a super potion. That's good. That's what my. No, not on Chiquitita. What do you think? Hello, girl! Jasmine is the city's gym leader. I mean to bring her back with me. Nobody had better get in my way. So she used to use ground type like Onyx. Last Kanye wants to battle and sends out the Meryl! Oh, it's the Tracy Pokemon from the anime. Pika Blue. <laughs> okay, water versus water. This should be fine. Oh, I love Supersonic. Supersonic. Electronic. Wait, that's the same move that, like, Whitney used, right? That was supposed to be, like, really, really good. And that I never really quite understood why it was so good. I don't know. I'm, am I supposed to be, like, scared right now? Because I'm not. <laughs> I'm still not sure why a rollout is supposed to be such a great attack. I don't get it. Ooh, Bubble Bean, that's cute, but it's not going to be very effective against Sea Queen. I'm a fish, you know, I thrive in water. Let's peck it to de death. Peck, peck, peck. Good job, Sea Queen, you're soon leveling up. I'm proud of you. My Pokemon! Well, maybe use some more than one Pokemon then. Right, anybody would be worried if his or her own Pokemon were hurt. I'll pray for the Pokemon here so Jasmine can come back to the gym. Why are you so obsessed with getting Jasmine back to the gym? You want to challenge her or something? Jasmine must be worried sick about the Pokemon here. She won't even smile these days. This Jasmine sure seems like a PETA activist emo. I like it. Sailor Kent. The one time I played this game was when I borrowed... Um, was when I borrowed it when I was, like, really, really young. And, of course, as I said, I used my friend's save file and played for, like, one hour. And that friend's name was actually Kent. Fun fact of the day. So... Thank you, Kent, for the good memories. He should just know that right now I'm doing a blind let's play of this game. And he probably wouldn't know what a let's play was. Aw, oh, what a shame for it. I have to kill Krabbies, but... Oh, a lot of experience points. That's nice, and we're now level 21. That's also nice. You have a Kingler? No, another Krabby. Hmm. I'm, like, in real life, definitely allergic to seafood. But if there's, like, one food that I always thought looked, like, really delicious, it's crab meat. Like, crab meatballs or something. It looks seriously so good. I kind of want to eat a Krabby. Stop using Vice Grip! It's so unfair, it's gonna kill my Sea Queen. Well, whatever. We killed you first. A lot of experience points here, once again. That's nice. I can't manage a smile either. Oh, Mom! Again! 
What did you find this time? If it's a moonstone, then I'm kind of happy, but if it's something else, then screw you, mom. No, I'm kidding. Speaking of sick, I've heard there's a good pharmacy in Cyanwood. Oh, well, that when it's pharmacy spelled like that, you know we should get there after a while and pick up a potion or something for this Pokemon. You just know it. Um, wait, what? Full restore and status? Okay. Let's just use... We're, we're gonna train Stay Queen some more, so we're just gonna heal it up with a super potion. Gonna waste it, I know, but, you know, sometimes you gotta waste. Hello! Are you a schoolboy? You're pretty high up here. My bird Pokemon are in prime form. No, it's a bird catcher. Well, Gold, no, uh, Sea Queen worked pretty well against a lot of Pidgeys, so maybe it can work, work well against Bird Keeper Dennis as well. Spiro, also known as Kenya. Too bad my Kenya is, or my Kenya, the random guy's Kenya is in uh, the, 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 the Pokebox. Ow. Ha! <laughs> you pathetic loser. Critical hit, even. Kind of unnecessary, but whatever. Floats your boat there. Gold duck. No, gold duck. I meant sea queen. Gold duck, sea queen, same shit. Whoops, I just swore. Sorry. I'm normally a really nice person that never swears, I promise, but when I play games, I get kind of aggressive. Whoops. Uh, let's try to use Supersonic here, because I'm getting kind of freaked out that this Pharaoh will defeat us. And I don't want that. I said I don't want that. Of course it hits five times. Damn! That's a lot of HP, like... I don't like it. Uh, maybe we should try for a stronger attack than Horn Attack. Maybe, like... Surf or something, just to... Please hurt yourself, by the way, don't use furry... Oh god, we're dead. Okay, uh, nice try, Gold or uh, Sea Queen, but uh, you can't win all of them, you know. That was totally unfair. <laughs> Poor Sea Queen, I like you. Uh, Why don't we use you for a while and try to level up you some a bit too? Like with Whirlpool and stuff. Boom. Sea Queen just saved you. And you managed to trap a bird Pokemon in a Whirlpool. That's kind of impressive. Right? That is kind of impressive. I think so. Hurt by the Whirlpool. I like it. Ha! <laughs> Good job, Psyduck. Or Sai Ai Ai! Sai! Knack! Whoa, almost level 19. I'm so proud of you. A Sparrow, that should be fine. We're just gonna kick its ass and eat its wings. Oh, I want chicken wings now. But who doesn't? I haven't had chicken wings in over a year. You don't really get them in Norway, at least not good ones. And when I was studying abroad in Korea, I had them like every single Wednesday and they were super delicious. Level 19 on Sai Ai Good job. Bird Keeper Dennis was defeated. Oops, the car crashed. La la la. I see a bunch of Japanese triple dots now in this game. I, de I didn't realize it before until like the last episode or the episode before that, but it's kind of crazy how often they're used right now. Another rare candy. It was almost tempting to use it on Sea Queen. I know that they get lower stats or something, but at the same time, I'm kind of just like. I should just use it so they're used, because I don't really see the point of saving up on them, so we're just gonna give it to Sea Queen. Boom. It's not like we're gonna play professionally with these guys anyway. Okay, so I went down here because I remember that this girl was like hiding something here, and obviously we couldn't get ahead right now, and um... And uh, da 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 da... In the lighthouse, we, can, we couldn't get further up, so we're just gonna go down here and rely on this place. Yeah, that's what I thought. I saw this guy earlier. Sailors are both kind and strong. How about you? Are you stuck, by the way? Can, can you get down? Or can you get out? Is that why you're telling me that you can be both strong and kind? While sending out a polywhirl who's gonna die a painful death? No, that's rude. 
Sequin, use supersonic! Okay, well, water gun versus supersonic, and... It's totally pathetic Pokemon fight. Thank you, finally. Just base it off the swirly thing on the front of Poliwhirl's mouth. Or, not mouth, body. Because that's supposed to be like his intestines, right? I think the Pokemon entry says that about him. He's like, oh, the swirly thing on its front is supposed to be the Pokemon's intestines. That's so, so creepy, but I like it. Oops, I just sped up the emulator. Sorry about that. I hope you, by the way, noticed that when I started playing this game right now, it was light outside. Like, it was daylight. So I'm actually being an adult and, like, playing during the day. <laughs> You're both kind and strong. Oh yeah. Well, I'm mostly kind. Not so strong. E4 is always nice to have when I get further into, like, a uh, dungeon or something. Every time I come back to Olivine, I visit the gym. The gym leader's Pokemon type has changed without me noticing. I'm kind of curious about that right now. Hello. Hello. <laughs> about time. I wanted to battle Jasmine, but she's not up to it right now, so how about you? Sure, why not, but I'm not gonna give you a badge. Sailor Ernest wants to battle Ernest. That's kind of a cool name. A Machop. Cool. He turns into a freak when he's a Machamp, but I kind of like Machamp still. Oh, I'm so addicted to Supersonic right now. I'm so happy I have that move. I will never ever in my life change it out or change it to something else, even though it hardly works, it seems. Uh, let's just have to surf. I know he is not a ground type, but still, it should be fine. It shouldn't be weak or anything, so... Surf has like a high amount of attack power, it seems, so wow, okay. Good job, Sea Queen, per usual. Do you oh, I was about to say, do you have a ma matchup, Machoke, and a Machamp? That would be kind of cool, but no, you have three matchups then. We're just gonna surf you to death then. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Maybe if uh, if she's a ground type that uses like Onyx and stuff, maybe we can use Sea Queen on the trainer or the gym leader when she gets back. After we go to the pharmacy and sign with, because I can guarantee you that we have to go there to get the super duper healing potion for the super duper Pokemon up in this lighthouse. I promise you that will happen. You don't have to be psychic uh, to understand that. Sea Queen is totally kicking ass right now. And it's so pretty. Flail, I don't know what flail is. Let's check it out. Uh, is there something here we really don't need? I don't know what flail does, but it sounds bad. It's, it was like, didn't I see Seal use that move when we fought a seal in the last episode or something? I think we did, and it wasn't any good. And the thing is, I want to save the Peck because it's a flying type move, so it's super effective against grass Pokemon in case we get to type disadvantage there once. Surf, we can't forget. Horn attack is okay. It's a normal type move, which is sometimes comes in handy too when you don't really want to rely on only one type of attack, you know? And supersonic is also okay because it inflicts a status, so... We're not gonna learn it, I think. Stop learning flail? Yes. Maybe that's like the stupidest choice I ever made in my life, but whatever. Whoa, whoa, you're overwhelming! Oh yeah. A gym leader isn't just about being strong, a leader also needs to be compassionate. Obviously, super repel. Nice. No more Rattatas for me. I think you reach the top. I can... Even listen to the music, it changed from like the lighthouse music to the god of the Weibo there. Super potion, that's also nice to have in handy whenever Sea Queen dies. <laughs> Hello, Pokemon, can I get you? Amphi, Papalu. Its breathing is terribly labored. I don't know what a Amphi is. This Pokemon always kept the sea light lit at night. But it suddenly got sick. It's gasping for air. I understand that there is a wonderful pharmacy inside, I told you. But that's across the sea, and I can't leave Amphi unattended. 
May I ask you to get some medicine for me? Please? Can I, can't I just catch this Pokemon already? Like... But okay, whatever, we're gonna do her a favor and uh, do as she asks and go to Signwood because I'm pretty sure I- Ooh! Oh, this would be so convenient. Oh, thank you. That is so nice. We can get all the way down. That's really, really nice. Thank you, game, for doing this for me. Like, seriously, that's nice. Uh, but I called it, you know. So, like, we had to go to Signwood. And I actually know the- Ooh! It just got dark. Is it because it's 6 p.m.? Where do we find the time again? Yeah, 6 p.m. Okay, so that's like the dark time. So it gets light at 6 a.m. then? Jeez, that's pretty early. I think it's pretty early that it's dark at 6 p.m. It's never dark at 6 p.m. Uh, but okay, we should heat up, uh, heal up before we get started here. We're not gonna get started on going to Signwood in this episode, though, because I think we're already closing in on a 30-minute mark, so... We're just gonna leave it be! Heal up Pokemon, perfect health, shall we heal your Pokemon? Oh, did she, by the way, complain right now that you're out late? Let me let me hear that once again. If she is, then I'm totally gonna sue her for her mental anguish. Let me hear here. Good evening, you're- Oh! <laughs> you just never shut up, do you, Nurse Joy? For once, I felt like I was due playing this game early, but never mind. Um, I will see you in the next episode. I have been a Biting Gamer. Hope you enjoyed this episode somewhat. Not a lot of interesting things happen, but I know something interesting will definitely happen in the next episode because we are going to the World Islands and then to Cyanwood. And uh, if World Islands are is anything close to the hell that is Seafoam Islands or whatever they were named in Generation 1 where you catch Articuno, then I have quite the episode in front of me, and I really, really can't wait. I don't want to do it at all, but I kind of have to, I guess. So I will see you in the next episode, where we will probably go to the Whirlpool Islands. Until then, I have been a Binding Gamer, and I hope to see you in the next episode. And until then, take care. Bye-bye!